Let's talk about what pseudocode is. Let's say I have a problem I need to solve. In my case, how do I cook myself a delicious dinner? Well, here is a solution. Can you figure out what the solution is and the steps needed? Yep, it's instant noodle night for me. The recipe is the series of steps I need to complete in order to produce the solution. And next to it here on the right, you can see the interpretation of the steps in English. The recipe includes a circular arrow, which represents repeating an action, in this case, waiting, and a branching path, which represents alternate choices and actions to take. In this case, whether I like spicy flavored ramen and I want to add the spicy packet, or if I'm a fan of just the plain flavored ramen. Now, if I were to ask my Vietnamese mum, who is a much better cook than I am, to complete the steps for me, I would have to communicate the steps to her in Vietnamese instead of English. So to link this story back to pseudocode and algorithms, the instant noodle recipe is the algorithm. That is, it's the series of steps needed to solve a problem. Now, the steps within the recipe are universal. The steps needed to cook the noodles are the same, regardless of the language spoken and understood by the chef. So the symbols here can communicate these steps without needing specific words, punctuation, or grammar. Similarly, algorithms are expressed in a universal, common language called pseudocode. Here is an example of the pseudocode to calculate the sum of all positive integers up to 100. If I were to ask someone to follow my recipe over the phone, I'll need to translate the recipe into a spoken language. And in order to get a computer to follow our algorithm, we also need to convert the pseudocode into actual program code. And the program code can be expressed in different programming languages. So here is the pseudocode written in the Python programming language. And here it is written in the C++ programming language. And that is how algorithms, pseudocode and programming languages all fit together.